So in the last video, we went over why calendaring your mesh is important, but there's another process that could make your screen printing mesh perform and last longer, and that's stretching. WS Tyler has been weaving mesh for over 150 years, so we've done it all when it comes to woven wire mesh. And we found that stretching your wire mesh plays a critical role in your efficiency of your printing process. But how and why? Well, don't worry, because in this video, we'll go over why it's important to stretch screen printing wire mesh, how screen printing wire mesh is stretched, and the common mistakes that are made when stretching screen printing wire mesh. Uh, real quick, I mentioned this in the last video, but if you haven't watched that yet, it bears repeating. Mesh count is the number of mesh openings in a linear inch of your wire mesh. It directly impacts the ink flow of your printing process, so it has to be carefully selected. But the big thing that you need to know is that lower mesh count yields prints with bolder designs and thicker layers of ink, and higher mesh counts yield prints with finer, detail-oriented prints. Okay, regular schedule programming. Preparing wire mesh is a complex process that requires many steps to ensure high quality prints. One of the more critical steps is tightly stretching the mesh across framing hardware. Properly stretching your mesh basically ensures that the wires throughout the weave are evenly spaced. Uniform wire spacing means you have complete control over ink distribution, which will definitely give you higher quality prints. Tightly stretching your wire mesh also plays a major role in the screen's ability to be lifted cleanly after ink has been transferred to the substrate. The tighter the screen is stretched, the less likely you're going to encounter ink bleeds. It also helps helps reduce the mechanical stress on your screen, which means your mesh will have minimal sag, if any, and it will not distort after multiple uses. So basically, stretching your screen printing mesh ensures quality prints while helping prolong the lifespan of your mesh. Stretching typically starts with the selection of the framing. After you select a wire mesh specification that accommodates your mesh count and material needs, you will want to align and attach the mesh to one side of the frame. Using a mechanical stretcher, you'll stretch your mesh working from the center outwards to the opposite side. As the mesh comes into tension, you'll want to anchor the section you're pulling to ensure the tension is locked in place. Once all the areas of the screen are evenly tensioned, you'll then want to utilize a tension material to verify that the tension is uniform and compliant with the requirements of your next process. The next step will be to secure the mesh tensioning. For static framing hardware, this involves stapling the mesh in place, but if you're working with retentionable framing hardware, you'll need to tighten the frame's tension mechanism. So at this point, if necessary, you'll want to trim any excess mesh and conduct one last inspection to confirm your screen tensioning is to your liking. So while it's essential to stretch your screen printing mesh, you must be mindful of the common mistakes you can encounter during the stretching process. Naturally, uneven tensioning is one of the more frequent mistakes. This uneven tension can cause certain areas to be more precise than others, creating inconsistent prints. But with stretching, sometimes overstretching can happen, which can alter the size and shape of the mesh openings, which creates anomalies in the ink flow and even damages the wire mesh in the weave. Understretching your mesh, on the other hand, can cause sagging, which ultimately leads to blurred and distorted imagery. And one last mistake you should avoid is using outdated, worn, or damaged framing hardware. Failure to use up to par framing can hinder the tensioning process, which can cause a decline in print quality over time. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link in the description and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.